there and thank you so much for clicking on this video if you do not already know my name is lauren and i am the canvas queen where on this channel i like to teach all of my education friends how to use canvas this video is a very short quick easy tutorial on canvas i will have many more coming out so stay tuned if you want to follow along with me of course subscribe to the channel if this video is helpful please i would love it if you would give it a like if you have questions along the way feel free to leave a comment below all right let's get to the video video i'm going to show you how you can export your canvas course content onto your computer i will also show you how you can import that export package to any canvas instance So this is a course that I have currently saved. It's actually saved for my Teachers Pay Teachers account. Um, so I actually have all of these pages. If I go here and click on pages, you'll see I have all of my templates, which I sell. So it makes it really easy for my customers to uh, download and have a template with buttons all ready to go. But for this example, I am going to show you how you can export any course content for saving. So the first thing you'll do is you'll go down to settings. Within settings, over on the right side here, we are going to click export course content. Now there's a very specific way. So we want to do all the courses, well, the whole entire course. So let's say you just want to export a quiz and share those quiz questions. You can do that too, but we're just going to do a course. So we'll click create. It will take a few minutes, if, depending of course on whether or not you have a lot of content. This could take, you know, quite some time, um, but since I don't have a lot, it shouldn't take very long. And it's just about done. Okay, so then you will click new export. You can see I have previously um, exported this file before, uh, so it gives me the date of when I did those, but this is the newest one, so I'm going to click new export, and then it will download into my computer. So all I've done is exported it and I have saved the file onto my desktop. So now if I want to import it into a blank course, I can do that across any instance. I am now on my Canvas dashboard here and you can see I have this course called Demo. It is a completely blank course. So when we enter it, you'll see there's no content. So to add the content that I previously downloaded, we will go into settings. Then instead of export content, import course content. And here we have some options. So normally, and you've seen me do this in previous videos, we copy from a Canvas course. This is great for teachers when you're copying a Canvas course within the same instance. We have downloaded our Canvas course export package, and this we can use when, let's say, we move to a different district and they have a completely different Canvas instance. We can then upload it from our computer or with our Canvas course export package. You also see you have some other options here. This is great for, you know, if you have files, a zip folder, um, if you've used Blackboard in the past, or you also used Moodle, um, so other LMSs, that is great. But we are going to click Canvas Course Package. You also, of course, can download, before I continue, you can download from Commons, but not through the import course content. That is when you would go actually into commons. Um, but let's do choose file. Here's on my desktop the file. I'm going to open it. Now we have options here. I want to do all content, but of course you can select specific content within your file here that we're downloading. Also, if you have assignments with dates, I would highly suggest removing the dates. Um, since I don't have any content that 
um, has date requirements, I'm just going to uncheck this box because I don't need it. But I think that's really nice and really helpful because then you're not going back and changing all the dates <laughs> from a previous course. Then we'll click import. It will load, and of course the loading time depends on how much content you have. So it will be waiting right here and start to run, and then we'll come back when it's complete. Okay, so it is now completed, and it really, for me, it only took probably two minutes. But um, if you have a lot of content, this could take a while. So it just depends on how much stuff you're importing. Um, but now when I click on my home page here, you will see that my home page is now the one that it was before in my course export package. So we have the science stuff, we have all the buttons, and we're good. So this is actually what I sell on Teachers Pay Teachers. If you are interested, um, I sell the course export packages that includes, again, I showed you this before, but all of the pages here. So you can actually select whatever grade level subject you are. And so let's say you are fifth grade. We would just go use this as the front page. And so now instead of being science, it is now da, 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 fifth grade with reading, writing, math, all of that stuff. But of course, um, with my Teachers Pay Teachers packages, I also sell um, just the buttons. So if you don't want the template and you want to put the buttons in your own format, or lay them however you want on your home page, that is totally fine and up to you. But this saves you a lot of time. The best part about exporting your Canvas course content is that you always have a backup. Not only do you have a backup, but if you ever change school districts, you are able to use your content from school district to school district because Canvas has, of course, different instances. Importing your course content is always great too because it saves you a ton of time. I hope this tutorial video was helpful. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.